to six. <laughs> hashtag the connections at polyam fam. Hashtag verse TV two two six D. A lot of you have been asking how my poly relationships work since I started posting videos with my partners. So let's talk about it. I don't really feel comfortable talking about other people's sexualities on my channel, but I'll talk about my own and how our relationships fit together. For most of my life, I identified as straight, but in the last couple of years, I've been coming to terms with my own queerness, and I now identify as queer. Paige is my wife, and we've been married for six years. Our marriage started monogamous, but about four of those years have been polyamorous. Grace is also my partner, and we've been seeing each other for a little over a year. Paige and Grace are not partners with each other. Kyle is Paige's boyfriend, and they've also been seeing each other about a year. Kyle is not partnered with me or Grace. Paige and Grace are currently my only two partners, but all three of them have other partners outside of the four of us. And none of our relationships are closed. A lot of popular poly media representation comes in the form of closed triads, throuples, whatever you want to call them. But from my experience, this is how most polyamorous relationships work. People having the relationships they want and managing each individual one as they see fit. Sure, it can get a little complicated to manage and explain, but I think it's beautiful that we all have the ability to customize our relationships however we want. I agree with him 100%. I do think that is a beautiful progression of society allowing people to customize their relationships to whatever they want it to be. I think that's a beautiful thing. I will say for myself, I am a little bit more conservative, so I do just want a monogamous relationship, one-on-one, -on -one. you know, it's just like the old show. But yeah, well, not just like the old show, it's a different show. But one-on-one, uh, -on -one, me and my partner, you know? And in terms of the poly thing, while the poly thing is cool, I ask, is the love always evenly distributed among the parties? No. I don't, I, I, I question. And I find it to be, an, what he said was an intriguing view of poly and I also ask, who gets the soup when somebody's sick? In the poly relationship, who will bring you your soup when somebody is sick? And as somebody with a big diagnosis, if you will, a lifetime diagnosis, multiple sclerosis, stuff like that does run through my mind. Like, who will bring you the chicken noodle soup when you're sick? I don't know. And um, yeah, because people sometimes I've experienced get bored with me and my MS situation. It starts off cute and noble, like, hi, I'm dating a man with a disability. I'm special. Look at me, like Jennifer Lewis and Jackie's back. Look at me, look at me. I'm with a disabled man. It's like, anyway. But that's also an insecurity of mine that has me, I've at times run the risk of pushing away good partner with my uh, insecurity. You just want to be with me for the sake of being with a disabled person until you get bored with me. And then you'll throw me away. And then who's going to get my soup? Anyway, but Polly makes, it, makes the move on. I question if it makes moving on from somebody easier or more difficult. And other people are there to occupy your time. Yes, it's complexity. I'll finish with my one minute. <laughs> All right. Um, of course, we have always 
been a monogamous person with like polyamorous relationships was never really my thing. Nothing against those that do it. Like, do you? It's just not for me. And you know, that's just the way, really, that's really the way I've always been. And it, it might possibly have something to do with me initially living in the mm, southern uh, community. So that's just the way I look at it. But I mean, like I said, like you do you, whatever it is, do you think? And that's what I have. Maryland is northern, but it's called the old line state for a reason. Well, yeah. Yeah. So I will also say 